All right. <clears throat> So this is a video that I'm doing as, a, as an update of what's going on with my bike. As I promised some of you guys previously in some of the videos that as I do modifications, changes, and I play around with this bike, I'll be posting some, uh, some updates and what changed and why it changed and what I went through in order to do that. So uh, to the best of my memory, the, uh, <clears throat> the bike, the, the, the stock, weight of the Enduro Race 8.0 Di2 uh, from Canyon originally is 8.5 kilos. Uh, now, sure, it's it's pretty light as it is, but I, you know I'm not a weight weenie, if you will. But I, I do like my bike to be as light as possible. One of the reasons why I got this bike. And originally, I don't know if you guys remember, but I said that I, I was aiming for an Ultimate, but uh, due to some stock issues, when I decided to buy a bike and uh, poking around, there wasn't a huge difference in the frame geometry between the Ultimate and the Enduro Race. And so I decided to opt in for the Enduro Race and then just play around and modify it, make it better. And so here's what's, uh, what's new. So as you can see, this is not a stock uh, handlebar that comes with this bike. Uh, this is uh, this is the Canyon Aero uh, uh, Aero handlebar and stem integration. Uh, it's pretty light, stiff, and really comfortable. Uh, <laughs> here's the funny part: I'm in Brooklyn. I'm in the United States. They don't sell these bars, at least when I was buying them. They were not selling them in the United States, and so what I had to do is play a little bit with some logistics, which means I went on there. German website, mind you, if you want to buy from a German website, you can, but you cannot use your United States credit card for that because they will not accept it. So in order to do that, you actually need to uh, have a friend or somebody who lives overseas or maybe use a PayPal uh, because they do, I think, accept that option uh, as payment. Uh, and then you can ship it to some address within the European Union or outside to like Middle Eastern countries like Israel. Uh, 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 Dubai or whatever else and then if you have somebody there they can definitely uh, uh, ship it over to you a bit of logistics uh, you might incur some taxes but not a lot uh, not a huge deal uh, I, uh, I did not get any uh, taxation slap uh, when it arrived in the United States from Israel because that's what I did I got it on German website from a credit card from somebody I know in Israel it was shipped to Israel and then immediately the person just uh, went to the postal office and just shipped it over to me. Uh, a bit of logistics, a bit of weight, but eventually, trust me, if you want this home bar, worth the weight. It cuts a lot of the weight of the bike. Uh, also, don't forget, you will need this little thing. Uh, so it does work, but you have to, you have to, it comes for uh, the Garmin. And so what you have to do is just drill a few holes and twist it and then screw from the bottom. Uh, a few reasons why I decided to go for this bar. A, light. Uh, the weight of it. Two is that I wanted to integrate it to a bar and stem. And three is the fact that I'm running a DI2. And so uh, the junction box was constantly like hanging on the, bot on the bottom underneath the bar. Previously, I didn't like that. This one integrates its inside, so you can run really nicely. I'm gonna try and do this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it runs really nicely, the, the cables and the junction box. Now, another thing, as I mentioned previously, was the wheels, the, the, uh, the saddle post, the saddle itself. Uh, and I also changed my crank set I got the one with uh, uh, power meter from stages and believe it or not if I'm gonna take off the bottle right now off my bike as it is right now it's 7.6 kilo I shaved almost a kilogram from a bike uh, removing changing certain parts updating certain things and yes I know I have a bit of a thing here as uh, somebody on GCN said chimney <laughs> Yeah, it's because I'm trying still to figure out the height uh, of the, the handlebars for me, what's the comfort level, and then once I figure that out, I'm gonna cut it. 
Um, anyway, if you have any questions or you want more details on any of the parts and how I uh, installed everything or did anything, yeah. just uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Hope that helps. Bye.